and gentlemen, the best act in her price range, <laughs> Miss Joan Rivers! <laughs> Shut up. Off. Let's just start with the stool. This, if it was Kathy Griffin, this would have been moved down here. I'm just like, all afternoon, Kathy this, Kathy that. I uh, leaves a very filthy toilet. Anyhow, uh, this is, this is the cheapest fucking special ever made. That's what this is. And nothing but insults. This is the stool, age. Age appropriate. Anyhow, <laughs> look at the fucking orchestra, and we're gonna start with the orchestra. I am paying. Bravo is so goddamn cheap. I am paying for an orchestra. First of all, let's discuss it. Do I sing? Am I am, am I Diana Ross? Is that, where are the gays? Because they'll know in a sec. Liza single. Anyhow, they're making me pay for an orchestra I did not want. And in the contract, in the contract, it is for six piece orchestra. Let's count them together. One, two, three, and a fucking mirror. I, a mirror! That, or that's number one. Number two, they think I'm 100 years old. They put out like cue cards. Like, uh, no, Joe. They think it's Sinatra. Remember those days? <laughs> New. <laughs> All right, let's just start at the beginning. Okay. First of all, before we do anything else, I want, I don't like certain audiences. I hate old people. I, if, oh, if you are fucking old, get up and get out of here right, right now. Right now. Well, you're old, Miss Rivers. Well, I don't see me. If you are old, <laughs> screw you. You have to look, not me. I, if you're old, start now. By the time you get out, you'll have heard two thirds of the act. It's good. Oh, don't, you know, do you like old people? And when they're proud, proud, pr I'm 97 years old and you smell. I hate you. And old people, old people that buy at Costco. I, it, am I wrong? Why are you buying at Costco? Why are you 93 years old? Why are you buying 18 large jars of mayonnaise? What is your problem? You're not even gonna make it to the goddamn checkout counter, you old crow. <laughs> and their bodies go, it's so disgusting. Who's old here? Well, ugh, you're not a pretty group. It is. And that's another thing, I hate ugly people. We'll get back to old. Oh, oh, I hate, I hate ugly people. If you are ugly and you know who you are, I, I could start right now pointing out. Just get up and get out because trust me, at the end of the evening, you're gonna be just as ugly, at least be home. It, it's a... I, don't you hate ugly people? I did a, 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 a Jesus freak convention. They are the ugliest people on. I have an agent. Well, this will be good. Joan and Jesus freaks. Uh -huh. hey, uh, have you, uh, uh, Jesus loves me. I think Jesus hates you. I just, uh, I want you to look in the mirror. If Jesus loved you so goddamn much, he'd give you a chin. I want you. I want you to look at that mirror and tell me how Jesus loves you. He hates your guts. 
if Sharon Stone said, Jesus loves me, I'd say, ooh, give me some literature. But I don't like, I don't like ugly people. I don't like old people. I guess we're gonna, because we're talking about young people. To, I mean, oh, Heather McCartney, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, Paul and Heather McCartney. I called that a year ago. Oh, he hasn't got a leg to stand on, ha, ha, ha. No prenup. Oh, don't, oh, oh. class with that bitch. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Smartest white woman in America. I know how to get Paul McCartney. Stumps, turn him on. <laughs> Here he comes. Hello, Paul. Want to lick the stump? He's, oh, uh, oh, we're gonna, oh. Bo gays booing? Gays? is a first. Gays f***ing booing. Look what you're wearing. Oh, and I am all for gays and gay marriage. God bless you all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I went, I went to George Michael's wedding. It was so beautiful, beautiful. Held it where they met in the men's room at Hyde Park. It was just... This is my dog, Spike, by the way. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. He was anorexic, for those of you there. He was like the Olsen twin of Yorkies. He was, I hate them. Let's get to that. Are they here? Mm, little skinny bitches. Does the tampon make me look fat? I hate them. Anyhow, he's my little dog, Spike. Oh, God, and he's dead. And, and, and he's real fur. Anybody here from PETA? <laughs> Want to see how he died? I couldn't take him with me to England. I couldn't leave him because I loved him, so I went like that. And that was, and he was dead. I had no idea. I used to do that to my daughter all the time. It was just, yeah. Anybody here a vegan? <laughs> Eight vegans, ugh. I won't eat anything with eyes. What about your husband? It is just... Who's this? Madonna. It is just... Oh, the old Madonna. Now she's so full, full, full. Excuse me. Excuse me, is she here? Oh no, she's doing, she's working now. Oh, she was my old, she was my friend when she was an old tramp. Was she fun? Yes or no? Oh, the eight, Madonna of the 80s. Oh, you wouldn't trust her with a plant. I loved her so much. Her knees were in different time zones. I just... She had an IUD with call waiting. She was just... And now it's so fa 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 fa. I was over in England and I call her. I, oh, fa fa. Oh, I can't reach her. I just fell off a horse. First time she was ever on top of a horse in her whole life. It was like, oh, grow up. Fall, 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 fall. Now she has those two children. Oh, no, because she had them with two separate fathers. Wrong. Wrong. If you're going to have children, you have to have them with the same father or at least the same economic level father. No. Oh, what, am I wrong? Oh, look who I'm asking gay men. Am I wrong? One of them is rich. What's his name? Little, uh... No, little, little, not, no, little, um, uh, Rocco, Rocco. And the, uh, yeah, uh, what's gonna happen at Christmas? What's gonna happen at Christmas? Little Rocco, you're gonna be going to spend Christmas with Prince Charles and Uncle Elton John, and you're gonna be in a castle, and you're gonna have such fun, you're gonna have all the pizza you want, 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 want. And little Lourdes, <laughs> little poor Lourdes. <laughs> You're going to be delivering that pizza. It is. Can you limp? You'll get a bigger tip. It is. Ask Heather McCartney. It is just. Oh, yes. Want to see? He still does tricks, by the way. Stay. That's. Yeah, he committed suicide. Uh, we won't even go there. My, yeah, I have Filipinos for neighbors. And. Uh, uh, 
right, let's not tell the truth. Okay, yeah, Filipinos don't eat dogs. Is that what, you, is that, is that what tonight is gonna be about? <laughs> Filipinos eat dogs. Do I give a damn? Do you give a sh They eat, and they all, we don't eat dog. My neighbor meets me in the elevator. I don't eat dog, I don't eat dog. And there's a leash hanging out of her mouth. <laughs> they, they eat dog. <laughs> I went to their house for Thanksgiving and the turkey, a frisbee in its mouth. I... Just get in the oven. You know how to do it. Come on, you're a Jew. Just move in. Just get in. Oh, 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 Miss Rivers. I hate old people. I say I hate, hate, hate. old people. Oh, the bodies. The bodies, enjoy your bodies now. Oh, out of Brazil, this is how I go to the bathroom. I mean, it is just... <laughs> I use my left boob now as a stopper in the tub. I mean, you got me. yes. I mean, it's just awful. The only good thing is like, take lemons, make lemonade. The only good thing is... <laughs> I can now get a pedicure and a mammogram at the same time, but it's not enough. Vaginas, vaginas drop, you know this. Oh, look at this group. Vaginas drop. How old are you? 43. 43, so you start to see a little change. Don't pick on you, you're sitting in the fucking front row, don't pick on you. You chose the seat, bitch, I did not. Would you show us your vagina? <laughs> vaginas, vaginas drop. No one tells you this, vaginas drop. I woke up three weeks ago. This is a sad story. I woke up three weeks ago and I went, why am I wearing a bunny slipper? It is Why is it gray? It is. I have this friend, this poor old bitch. She's like losing her eyesight and nobody told about the vagina and she was in her kitchen and she's walking around. She sees this thing on the ground and she goes, she thought it was a mouse. I had to take her to Lenox Hill Hospital. Go explain that. Well, what's the matter? She stepped in her vagina, excuse me? Oh, so here we are, and you're single. Yeah, you're all single here. The whole, all every girl in this front row is single, yes? Yeah, I can tell the way you sit. Yeah. No, 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 no. You sit very cutesy wootsy. Married women, I, 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 who's married? Like, uh, 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 don't put your hands up, like, so I can find you there. You with the blue. Yeah, you're married. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. She sits relaxed. Single girl sit perky, boobies up, smile, song. Tongue is always out. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, waiter. I like a cup of coffee. <laughs> Minute you're married, the tongue goes back in the mouth, the knees spread, a shopping bag goes plunk. I'm married. <laughs> so you've never been married? No. Your mother must be dying. What religion? <laughs> Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Well, they don't give a shit either way. Is, no, Italians care. You know, Italians care, Jews care, Episcopalians care. Presbyterians, well, she'll get married eventually. Did you go to college? Yes. That's why. Too smart. They like them stupid. <laughs> now, oh, let me tell you something. They like them stupid with breasts. That's what they like them. And they like them when they fake orgasm. Do you fake? Yeah. Oh, you do? <laughs> Could you make the sound for us? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, that's good. What about you, married woman? Let me hear you fake. Where is your husband? All right, so what's your name? Chris, come here, into the microphone. That's very good. See, gay men don't understand that just to fake orgasm, all they have to do is spit in the guy's back. It's a whole different thing. Rivers. Oh, that's what you think. It is 
No, it, it, all you have to do is go, ooh, 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 ooh. It is common courtesy. It, he's doing most of the work. You've got to encourage him. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're the best. <laughs> Oh, it broke. <laughs> Maybe if Jennifer Aniston had been faked a little more, Miss Boohoo. Oh, and now he's married to that. I was on the plane with her, Angelina Jolie with the big fat lips. <gasps> oh, she was in first, and we were in business. We it was like pelican lips. We were throwing fish. Go, catch her. Oh, Tom and what's her name? Katie had the baby. Yeah, well, he was, there for the, he was there for the birth. Very nice. No jokes, he was there for the birth. It would've been nice if he was there for the conception, but the point is... <laughs> the point is, he was there. Very important. I happen to be a grandmother. I was there for my child's birth. Ugh, grand, ugh, ugh. I was there for my child's birth, too. But, but, <laughs> I couldn't find a college kid to carry. It was just... Oh, oh, when you go in now and they have the birth and you're there and they bring you in like it's an honor to cut the cord, ugh, ugh. And they give me the scissors and I go like that and the blinds come down and it's just <laughs> off. And the nurse, he looks just like you, Miss Rivers. She wants a tip. He's got your nose, you're a fucking liar. I never had that nose, I was 38 years old. Don't you tell me that. My way was much better. I had a delivery, they knocked me out with the first pain, they woke me up when the hairdresser showed. I knew nothing, nothing. Miss Rivers, you've had a baby. Oh, good, good, good. Is it healthy? Yes, good, good. Is it white? Yes, good. The marriage will continue, because it's all... It's all about making sure you run the roost when you are in the relationship. That's why every single woman in this room and the three of you in front learn, learn what it's about. You marry for money. You're looking for love. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I spit on love. Oh, what about, well, I'll have an orgasm. You want an orgasm, you don't have to be in love with the guy. You make him take, you find an old pig you make him take you to a furrier and you say, shall I get the sable or the mink? And he'll say, take both. You'll have an orgasm like you never had. Because like... that's what it's about. And if you do get married, you marry a man and you're a second wife. Second wives are where it's all at. And you know it and I know it. First wives are stupid. Show me a ring. I'll take your first wife or your second wife. First wife. First wife. Pathetic. This poor bitch, did you have to get married? Are you a bride from like some foreign country? This was your, your ticket? Would you be an illegal alien that doesn't use condoms? Would that be, it's like, I, you must be a second wife. Because first wives, they do, they, they're in love. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Thank you, thank you for the shitty ring. Thank you for the cloth coat. That's a first wife. Second wife, what the hell is this? This is a joke. You give this piece of shit to your mother, let her wear it swimming face down. That's why every first wife in this room think like a second wife, for God's sakes. Grab and take, grab and take, grab and take. And when you die, whatever you got out of him, you have buried on you. If the next bitch wants it, make her dig for it. I make her dig. Make her dig. The third wives are always Chinese. I don't know why. And just... He's 95, the balls are on the ground like Quasimodo. She's 19, I love you, baby. You give me credit card, I love you more. Because women must take care of themselves. I've learned these lessons. These are life lessons. And men like them with big breasts and no brains. That's a, now, you went to college, no man ever put his hand up your dress looking for a library card. I am telling you. 
I, I just flew in from England. I'm not making a joke. I flew in from England. I stopped in New York. I cremated my mother-in-law, and then I came out here. And I'm feeling very depressed, very depressed. My, do you, have you ever cremated anybody? You know what that's like? And I was flying from New York to L.A., and I thought I should have waited until she was dead. It was just... <laughs> But she always wanted to be cremated. You know, she was one of those women. Joan, I want to be cremated. Joan, I want to be cremated. So I had a four-hour layover. I, this is perfect. <laughs> and it's on fucking Bravo. This couldn't be better. <laughs> Come on, Betty, get in the oven. And right away, <laughs> all about her. I'm not dead yet. Always about her. I'm not dead. <laughs> Just get in the oven. You know how to do it. Come on, you're a Jew. Just move in. Just get in. Oh, oh. Oh, Miss Rivers. Oh, that's two Miss Rivers. Wait till you hear three. Anyhow, uh, I hated her in death, and I hated her. I, I hated her in life. Just because you die doesn't make you good. She was always a whiner, always a complainer. Joan, you're standing in my windpipe. Always about her. Anyway, I don't want the radio in the pub with me. It, it was always. Oh, I'm gonna be cremated. What are you gonna be? Cremated, probably. Yeah, probably. But what if they lose our ashes? I watch Six Feet Under. What if they lose our ashes? What if I end up being snorted by Whitney Houston? What? Yes! Yes! I could end up in Bobby Brown's ass. I, yes! That would be some Mother's Day for Melissa. Mr. Brown, may I kiss your ass? Sure, baby. And she loves me so much, my daughter. She's trying to fix me. She just wants me to be lonely. Isn't that nice, you know? She's trying to fix me up now with Robert Blake. I think it is so sweet. I think it is. Mother, I want you to have him take you to a nice Italian restaurant. You stay in the car. Roll the window down. God. <laughs> she and, and my little grandson, the only thing I don't make jokes of, truly, only thing I don't make jokes of is my grandson. I love him so much. Little Copper. Cooper. I love Oh. Uh, I hate kids. I hate kids. Oh, they don't do a goddamn thing. Give me, give me, give me. Take me, take me. Take me. If you can crawl, you little son of a bitch, you can dust. <laughs> You tie a rag to the leg and you throw a fig newton across the room. Here, you little sh Go get it! <laughs> and I use them for my jewelry business. God bless Kathy Lee Gifford. God... Oh! She opened a door for all of us. Oh, because they are so wonderful. Anybody here ever... Uh, you should only hire children. Joan Rivers Jewelry. 29... <laughs> What, you think you're gonna get this on QVC for 29 bucks made by Union? Are you f***ing crazy? <laughs> little fingers can set little stones. Okay, little Imelda, what would you rather be, an eight-year-old prostitute in Brazil or come work for Aunt Joni in her nice air-conditioned basement? <laughs> and it's Christmas, look, you can touch the dog. That's it, back to work. <laughs> and I also hire old people, so ha, ha. You probably throw grandma away, not this chicken. Uh-uh. If grandma's sitting there shaking, I put a piece of silver in this hand and a rag in this hand. I take her right off her medication. She can go for hours like that. <laughs> Old people are great. You don't have to pick employee of the month, they'll be dead. It's just... <laughs> have I had lunch? Yes! <laughs> three weeks ago. Because I work. I'm, I'm a woman that works. I, <laughs> you look at me and I know you think a great star. You look at me and yes, it's true. It's true. Yes, sables and fur coats and limousines and staff. But I'm lonely. Sometimes I say, staff. I'm lonely. Who's going to f me tonight? <laughs> when she was 16, I should have said, Melissa, come in the library, get on your knees, bring a banana, Mama wants to talk to you. That's why I should have said. Oh, I'm 
so old and I'm dating at this age. Ugh, these old guys, one guy gave me a hickey, left his teeth in my neck. And another guy said, I want you to meet my family. He took me to the cemetery. It's like... Oh, they're so awful. And, the, and when they meet you in a bar, they try to pick you up, they die. Hi, do I come here often? I mean, they're just... One guy took me out to dinner and died, died, ugh. And I had to put my hand in his pocket to get the American Express card. <laughs> but I'm not gonna pay, there's no future here. It's a... Oh, all this stupid secu security and noisy because I came through, I had to go London, New York, New York, as I said, LA, and all the time, every place I stopped, they, 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 they put me through uh, security again. Two people that should not be stopped in security. Two people, gay men and Jewish women. If gay men, I'm telling you, there is no way in hell a gay man can ever get a bomb in his luggage. There is no room. And just, Should I put the bomb in there or should I take an extra sweater just in case I meet somebody just... <laughs> And a Jewish woman, no Jewish woman is gonna ever put a bomb in a Gucci bag. Are you crazy? <laughs> Excuse me? You want me, Yetta Bernstein, to put a bomb in my Gucci bag? Do you know how many people had to f to get that Gucci bag? <laughs> And what if the bag blows up and I don't? I'm without a Gucci bag. Oh, God. Oh, I Christmas. Oh, and now Osama bin Laden, and we can't catch him. You know how stupid this country is? We can't catch him. Uh, the, the English people, they blew up the subways. I was over there when it happened. In three days, they found the guys who did it. They killed them. They killed some extras. It was over. It was... Well, if you're that stupid, they go, stop. Oh, well, shoot. Uh, they don't really mean it. Yes, we did. And with us, Osama bin Laden, how can we not find this son of a bitch? He is a six feet four, he's wearing a turban, and he's in a sheet. How hard is this? He's in a sheet. Hang out at a white sail at Bloomingdale's. You will find this man. That, and he's on dialysis. There is one socket in all of Afghanistan. One socket. See, they, they, they need more Jews in, in, to tell them what to do. It's also why I hate wasps. Oh, I hate You know why? Because they have no, it's all inside. I like ethnics, you know what I'm telling you? Ethnic people get excited, they get great. Uh, you tell an Italian your mother died. Ah! <laughs> and he hated her. Ah! <laughs> you say to a wasp, your mother died. Who got her shoes? I mean, it's just uh, <laughs> Biggest wasp and smart, Jacqueline Rassus. Oh, was she fabulous? Was she, is she here? <laughs> I don't read the papers that much. Not that good. There's somebody, the three of you single girls. Watch her. Not that good looking, but the men loved her because she talked very quietly. <laughs> Tongue was always out. <laughs> they shot Jack. <laughs> and she had those funny lizard eyes, like, lizard, like they worked independently. She was always looking for those claws. She was the only woman I ever met who could put her earrings on without looking in the mirror. It was like... <laughs> and wasn't she smart when she married Onassis? Something you wouldn't do, the three of you in the front. We're looking for love. She was so smart. The first husband, he screwed around. She married him. He left her for other women. She was finding pants in the White House. Second one, Onassis. He was this big, disgusting. Did you ever see him? Buggies coming out of the nose like rainwater. He used to walk around, the knuckles hit the ground. That's how they got the poop and scoop law. I mean, just. But when he died, he left her $158 million. $158 million. I hit the sheet so goddamn fast for that. Oh, please. I'd even move. I would damn it. Oh, this isn't so bad. You can still watch TV if you really can. You just. Ooh, that's good. A little more to the right, honey. Perfect. Oh, God. Oh. So now I gotta get up. It's very...
It's very easy getting down, but at this age, it's a little harder getting up. Okay, um, could, I know you're busy. <laughs> could one of you help me uh, without ruining your musician's fingers? Sons of bitches, okay. <laughs> All right. Now I feel like Dr. Ruth. Okay, <laughs> it's just... Good sex, good sex. Okay, here we go. Talk among yourselves, don't stop. This is why I, I never made out with Clinton. It is just... It would have been easy getting down, very hard getting up. Hurry up, Hillary's coming. I'm trying, I'm trying. God, I hated Clinton. Oh, God. Oh, I hate them all. I hate the Bushes. I hate them all. Oh, God. I hate them all because they're all unattractive. The Bush girls, little drunks. Daddy's in the way now. Oh, God. Their designated driver is Teddy Kennedy Jr. I just hate them. I hated the Clintons, that ugly daughter. Well, um, celery. I hate... Oh, do you... Do you remember when they tried to fix her up? Do you remember that? Chelsea Clinton and they got Donatella Versace. Good choice. It's a, Donatella Versace? It's like something you hang on a door in Africa. It's like... <laughs> so ugly. We have had such ugly people in the White House. That's why in England they're gonna live forever because they have those two cute boys, uh, Harry and uh, William. Oh, I can't wait till they, they grow up and they're on stamps so we can just lick them. It's, oh. I hope you're taking notes. I hope you're gonna walk out of here. You know who your role model should be? Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> oh, yes! Look how quiet the room got. <laughs> Go Google her. Go Google Monica Lewinsky. $17 million. She owns a pocketbook factory. Yeah, exactly. Wow. D d so you think it would be like a vacuum cleaner vacuum, but no, it's a pocketbook factory. <laughs> $17 million for going down on the President of the United States. $17 million. Does my daughter Melissa have $17 million? No, no, no. And it's my fault. It's my fault. And you want to know why? Because I told her, be good, believe in God, don't screw around, don't sleep with people you don't want to sleep with. Stupid, stupid, stupid. When she was 16, I should have said, Melissa, come in the library, get on your knees, bring a banana, Mama wants to talk to you. That's why she was... Stupid! She turned down Playboy magazine. Do you, exactly, exactly. Yes, right. A gulp. Two hundred thousand dollars, naked to the waist, on the cover. Turned it down. Turned it down. Do you understand? And calls me up and says, "What do you think, Mom?" Because they always want the mother to, you know, agree. Well, what do you think? And you gotta be. You're a mother. Whatever you think, Melissa. I'm behind you, hundred percent. What do I think? What do I think? You stupid <laughs> What do I think? What do I think? Take off your pants, show them your and get another $200,000. That's what I think. That's what I think. What do I think? I'm 72 fucking years old. I'm playing to gays and old people. What do I think? I'm on the goddamn red carpet at 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the sun like a hooker in Miami. What do I think? Saying things like, who you wearing? You got a lucky charm. Who the f*** are you? I stand by, my friends, Michael Jackson. Oh, sure, boo, boo. It, and at this age, it's so hard. Oh, and there's so little work. That's why I'm here for no money. Oh my God, no. We're all do. We're all now into commercials. Commercials. That's where it's at for old women. Commercials. And I lost that on a shake and bake to Katherine Hepburn. I will never forgive it. Oh yes. Shake and bake. It was four hundred thousand dollars, and Katherine Hepburn got it. Oh, oh, oh! I hate her so because she never told us she had Parkinson. Do you, no, never. Never. She, she made us think, she always said, no, not me. She made us think it was our fault. I threw out two perfectly good TV sets. I thought they were shaking. <laughs> you want to see Katherine Hepburn during an earthquake? <laughs> and with 
doing the shake and bake commercial. And I'm there with Stocker Channing and Gwyneth Paltrow's mother, um, uh, Blight Danner, Blight Danner, all three of us, $400,000. And in walks Catherine Hepburn. And Stocker said it, oh, she's a natural, let's go. And, and we, uh, I lost that. But I am now doing, and uh, it's coming out um, I, I, two months exactly from now, I'm doing Preparation H, it is so exciting. Oh. It's so great, Preparation H, and I stand there and I go, hi, I'm Joan Rivers. I used to have hemorrhoids the size of golf balls. I had to put sunblock on them, but now, thanks to Preparation H, I'm clean as a whistle. Come, look. And I can sit very comfortably, no pain. The only thing is, I get the Preparation H all mixed up with my crest. Because, well, well, they're on, like you've never done that. They're on the, 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 uh, the, the sink right next to each other. And this, this, I was trying to get here fast, and I brushed my teeth with Preparation H, and it was just the worst. Oh, God. So my mouth, excuse me, because I never drink during the show, but uh, mm, my mouth is all sticky and disgusting, but my ass is minty fresh. And, uh, <laughs> Like anybody cares. Oh, even my gynecologist examines me by phone. It is, oh, oh, at this age, I'm sorry. Yeah, the sex is gone. A guy flashed me three weeks ago. I thought he was giving me directions. I mean, it's like, it, it, oh, it's, it's so awful. Women, it's just, it's because a man, no matter how old you are, you're still a catch. You know that. We have an extra man. Bring him along. He's 98. Bring him, bring him. He's dead. Bring him. We'll prop him. Audience, you. I'm talking to you so much. Oh God. Uh, um, I should give you something. You here? Well, first of all, uh, wifey over here. Here. You want something? Here. Here. What do you want? Yeah. Take. What do you want? Take what you want. This will kill him at Bravo. There goes the budget. Good girl. And what about you two? What do you want? Purple. Something purple. Okay. Here. Here. How about my legs? Uh huh. <laughs> You get it in the middle, you son of a bitch. I'm giving it to the two women. Here, this is for you, my darling. And what would you like, sweetie puss? Uh, succulent. The succulent. <laughs> you want the ugly one? You are a Presbyterian. There's no question. That's very American. I'll just take a simple plant and make it grow. That's very nice. And you want a tree? Take a tree. Take a tree. Could you help me? I know you're busy. I know you're getting ready for the major finale. Could you help me, please? Sons of bitches, jump up. Don't bother. Don't. Take it home with you, all right? Oh. Take it home. Okay, what a nice audience you are, thank God. Oh, you don't know, you don't know. So nervous. No, because you're coming, you're coming from England and burying my mother-in-law. I mean, the whole thing has been just such a nightmare. You know? and, uh, and now I'm going, uh, and while I'm out here, I'm gonna get a, a little, you know, face stuff. stuff. And it's, well, I always do. My, oh, why not? This is the capital of plastic surgery. I, God bless plastic surgery. I love the ones that say they don't have it. Don't, oh, the law, I, every woman, let me just tell you something. Every woman in our business has had something done sooner or later. Cher, who is my very good friend, is she here? Oh no, she's still on that farewell tour. <laughs> Hannibal waved her goodbye. I, she's my very, <laughs> She's my very good friend. I, 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 I am blessed. I am. Uh, she's my very good friend, Julie Andrews. Very, oh, I love her so much. Yeah, we're friends for years, Julie and I. I was there through that whole terrible throat thing. You know that where they cut the. Yeah, can't sing it. Ugh, calls me every day, every day. <laughs> Hello, Joan. Hi, 
Hi, Julie. How'd you know it was me? <laughs> Tell me the truth. <laughs> they say I shouldn't sing anymore. What do you think? Let me hear, honey. Jim, Jim, and hey, Jim, Jim. <laughs> Best, best friend in the whole world, and you're not gonna like this. But I stand by my friends, not like you. Not like you. I stand by my friends, Michael Jackson. Oh, sure, boo, boo. I am so tired of this. First of all, all those boys got $30 million each. $30 million each. I was there when he signed the checks. $30 million. I only wish I had a son. Uh, yes! Yeah, Bronson, guess what? We found Harry! You gotta give the money back! No! Oh, God, thank God you laughed. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> No, I've been so depressed. We've all been through so much, you know. Oh, God, I mean, I, I'll never get, I was in New York, I'm, I'll never get over 7-Eleven. It is just. <laughs> Mark me for life. And 9-11 too, but 7-Eleven. Some son of a bitch cut ahead of me and got the Slurpee. It was No, 9-11 was terrible. I was there, oh God. We ended up with 2,500 widows. <gasps> Competition for me. It was, oh, terrible. And each one got $6 million. Let's talk about this for a second here. Out of five, uh, out of 2,500 women, there gotta be five that are not so unhappy. <laughs> You know what I do. Yetta Bernstein, Harry's dead. Ooh. <laughs> Getting that kind of money? And I want to find those women. I'm going to ring their doorbells. Yetta Bernstein, guess what? We found Harry. <laughs> you got to give the money back. <laughs> Get out of my penthouse. What is it, baby? Shut up, Lance. Go back to bed. I'll handle this. And it's just... I'm going to leave you now, but I, seriously, my daughter, Melissa, always says, don't do this. Um, uh, uh, I want to end with something nice. You're, you're a lovely audience. Thank God, thank God. And I'm so jet-lagged from going back and forth and sprinkling those damn ashes the whole thing. So I want you to look at the person you're with, because we are lucky. We're Americans, and we are so lucky. And we never appreciate it. So I want you to look at the person you came with, and the three of you, all of you, look at each other, take hands, and say, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Look at each other, who you came with. I'm so glad. Oh, come. all right, now I want to hear only gay men. I'm, I'm so glad. Now, old people. Now, women who still have their periods. I'm so glad. Women with hot flashes. I'm so glad. Now, all together.